there has been an effort to work together. I know the county through Transition House, there are empty beds. I mean, we've, my journalists have checked. We've called and said, hey, are you full? No, we're not. And you can't force people to make use of the things available. The county, on a monthly basis, rents and pays for motel rooms for emergency shelter. They are not being used. So, you know, it it's hard to, like, point fingers at the county where they have these services available and people aren't taking advantage of them, right? So where's the disconnect between the county trying to do something, you know, and I'm sure there's advocates trying to do something, and then there's people saying, well, hey, thanks for inviting me, but I don't like that. And I don't like this. I enjoy what I'm doing here. So what can we do to help people take advantage of the help offered to them, right? And I'm not saying that's all and for every case, right? There's, again, we talked about silos. Well, there's silos within this community as well, within the community that are in that tent city, for lack of a better word, right? So we need to appeal to those that want the help and are willing to receive it, help those. The others, I mean, we have to do our best, whether we offer them services to, you know, get employment or fight their addictions. But again, it has to start, you know, the county's doing something. And Andrew, you said something like somebody, you know, if you say, oh, we got to do something, those, put those people in then the onus is on that person. No, people can have an opinion about things that affect their community. You know, what is shocking to me is that there's no dialogue. There's a real us versus them kind of situation happening in town. At the end of the day, there's still people sleeping in tents, right? So very simple, 50 people sleeping in tents. Not too hard to figure out. So I'm just trying to figure out why, why is that such a hard thing to do? 